Hello guys, we've got a packed discussion in today's video, covering everything from Neo potential to grow into a $1 trillion company like Nvidia, to some exciting new updates and leaks straight from China. Let's jump into the details. First off, let's talk about some recent leaks. Images of the Envo L80 have surfaced, providing us with a glimpse of what this new model looks like. From the shared photos, the design resembles the Li Auto L9 in terms of both dimensions and interior layout. At first glance, it's quite similar to Neo ES8, leading some to speculate that this may actually be the third generation ES8, set to be revealed on Neo Day this year, rather than the Envo L80. However, if it is indeed the Envo L80, we're looking at a planned release for the second quarter of next year, with deliveries starting in Q3. So, it won't be too long before we start seeing these vehicles on the streets. Moreover, Neo Firefly model is definitely confirmed to be unveiled during Neo Day, which is scheduled for December 20th this year. This means we can anticipate a lineup of new, value-for-money vehicles making their way into the market soon. Last month, Neo October deliveries showed a slight decline, which might have been due to a strategic move by the CEO. By reducing certain incentives, the company managed to boost its gross profit by approximately 100 million RMB, despite delivering fewer vehicles. The move highlights Neo's shift towards optimizing profitability, which also strengthens its financial health. Given Envo high margin structure, the brand is able to sustain around 20k deliveries, signaling a strong, steady market presence. Many NEO owners feel that this approach reinforces NEO reputation as a luxury brand and allows Envo to serve the more budget-conscious customers, thereby preserving NEO premium status. It's a savvy approach that could yield long-term benefits. In 2024, we're expecting deliveries of the NEO ET9 along with a new NT 3.0 vehicle from NEO main brand. This, coupled with the rollout of the Envo L60, Envo L80, and Firefly models, should result in substantial growth in delivery numbers. So, there's a lot to look forward to in terms of expansion next year. Now, let's discuss a critical factor that could eventually make NEO stock soar in the way Nvidia has, licensing. NEO has developed impressive technology, holding a significant number of patents. They're already monetizing some of these through their battery swap technology, which has been licensed out to other companies. During a past live session, NEO CEO mentioned the possibility of licensing their in-house software, known as SkyOS. Think of SkyOS as an Android-like platform, but specifically designed for vehicles, with more advanced capabilities tailored to the automotive industry. This unique operating system could be licensed to other manufacturers in the future, and the CEO has already hinted that they may pursue this avenue. Initially, NEO will integrate SkyOS into all its vehicles and then gradually expand its usage to partners, suppliers, and potentially the broader automotive industry. Additionally, let's not forget the deal from earlier this year with a company named 47 in the UAE, where NEO licensed certain technologies. Although details of this agreement remain scarce, it's another indication of the potential revenue NEO could generate through licensing. On top of their software, NEO has also invested substantial resources into developing a proprietary chip. They've poured millions, if not billions, into creating a chip that is reportedly four times more powerful than NVIDIA current Orin X chips, though it may not surpass NVIDIA upcoming Thor series. However, NEO chip is expected to be more cost-effective, which could make it highly attractive in the market. In the future, NEO might explore becoming a chip supplier, selling their chip technology to other companies, particularly those focused on autonomous driving technology. This would open up yet another lucrative revenue stream. Looking at the software side, SkyOS isn't limited to automotive applications alone. While its primary focus is for use in vehicles, it has the potential to expand beyond that. NEO CEO has alluded to licensing it out to suppliers, which could hint at broader applications in supply chain management and possibly even factory operations. This could make SkyOS an ecosystem for various types of infrastructure management, 
offering tremendous value beyond the automotive world. Onvo L60 model, which uses Sky OS, offers a good example of the software capability. The system, known internally as Coconut, was entirely built in-house, meaning Neo isn't reliant on platforms like Android or Windows. And if Neo can successfully position Sky OS as a multi-purpose operating system, it could be a game-changer, impacting industries beyond just automobiles. In sum, licensing could very well shape Neo future beyond simply selling cars. While we expect substantial growth in car sales by 2025, particularly as Neo introduces new models, licensing technology may prove to be a much larger revenue generator. Right now, Neo is leading in terms of advanced technology within China. Even Huawei, known for its tech prowess, doesn't hold the same level of proprietary automotive tech as Neo. This gives Neo a significant competitive advantage, especially as they continue to scale. In the coming years, we could see licensing in three main areas. First, their battery swap technology. Second, their software ecosystem, SkyOS. And third, their proprietary chip. This strategy could yield a continuous, scalable income stream, transforming NEO into a technology powerhouse. All right, guys, that's the scoop. The future looks promising for NEO, and this licensing strategy could make them a tech giant, not just in the auto industry but potentially beyond. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing, and see you in the next video.